Welcome back to the show, everyone, and you're about to meet our corporate game changer for today. He's worked for over 10 years in the power, oil, and gas sector, both in Nigeria and in the United Kingdom. Prior to his present role, he was with ABB Oil and Gas in the UK, which led to him becoming the oil and gas head for ABB Nigeria. He is currently a sales director with Siemens Nigeria, and today I have with me Shemun Suleiman. Hello, how are, how are you? you I'm doing well. So Thank good you. Good to have you on the show. Thank you for having me on the show. Yeah, so I'll just jump right in. Okay. You studied mechanical engineering yeah. in the University of Illorin. When you were back there, you know, villages, you know, kind of setting, slugging out those grades, did you think you were going to make it this far so soon? No, I didn't think uh, initially, but uh, when I was in school, I tried as much as possible to live a balanced life uh, between my academics and my social life because I know that both are very, very important to where you are going to be in life. So I lived a life whereby I was... Uh, very averagely above in my academics. But on the social side, I was also making sure that I strike a kind of balance because both will be very important in the future. So that was how I lived my life in school. So did, did, did it work for you eventually? Now, looking back, has the social aspect of things been as important as the academic part of things? I think it's very, very important because the social aspect is what brings the money, in my view. Uh, the academic aspect gives you the technical understanding, but after a while you have to sit down and uh, talk to people, close deals. So the social aspect is quite very, very important. Okay. Yes, okay. yes. Um, you've had your fair share of working both, you know, home and abroad. What yes. excites you about being in the Nigerian workspace? Yeah, one of the most exciting experiences in being in Nigerian workplace is every single day is different. Mm, tell me about it. Okay, so in the UK, uh, you know basically that uh, this is what you're going to do today, is a developed world, okay. and uh, you don't just get on a job by mistake. But in Nigeria, you design a solution for X, by the time you finish and you find out the real thing, probably you are given Z solution. So it is a developing economy whereby mm -hmm is a margin change on things that we need on a daily basis. So it's absolutely very fantastic. And You love that? I love that. I think that is a very, very uh, you know, different thing from abroad, whereby you know exactly what you're doing every day. In, a, in an environment whereby you do not know the challenges you are going to face that day, I think that's what makes you very unique. It means under any situation, you can always adapt. Yes, yes, that toughens you definitely. Definitely. You, I mean, based on how senior you are yeah. in um, this organization you're currently in and the ones you've been in the past, you've yeah. definitely had to recruit quite a number of people on your, to your team or to yeah. work with you. Yeah. What do you look out for when you're hiring? One of the first things I look out for when I'm hiring is not necessarily the grade. I don't look for grades. I don't look for people who basically have two ones or because uh, our universities in Nigeria is quite very, very academic. I look for hands-on people. I look for people who can think outside the box. I look for people who have quite very innovative. I look for people who can take risk. I think those are the m most important things in our business world today. Like you know, everybody in Nigeria, to get a degree and a master's, everybody's got it. Mm -hmm. But that's, that's not what does the job. Okay. So what does the job is the soft skills that is very, very important. You know, you have to get people who are ready to take the extra mile, to go mm -hmm. outside the extra mile. Uh, if you get a regular job who just wants to get his pay at the end of the day, you're not going to achieve much. Uh, if you get the best guy with the first class grade that, you know, is probably maybe it's better to be in a research institute or somewhere, <laughs> yeah. So when you're talking about the business world, you need to get people who can think outside the box, who are very innovative, who can inspire others, and who can also share knowledge. So, you speak about thinking outside the box. How do I become someone that thinks outside the box? Basically, you get that from experience. So mm -hmm. uh, I don't recruit people that are like me. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a secret. So, so don't recruit people like yourself. Uh, you already know what you're good in. So when you're thinking outside the box, recruit people that are different from you and that will bring yeah, ideas amazing. that are outside the box. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. Can you work in a, an industry that is dominated by male, you know, male folks? Yeah. And, you know, I'm sure on most times you 
well, work majorly with men. Yeah. So, but I also know that from time to time you get to work with women. Yeah. What would you say is that extra thing that you know females bring to the workplace that you know you know that you most times don't get from men? Uh, to be very honest, uh, maybe I'm a, I'm a fan of having females in my team. Okay. And one of the main thing that female brings into the team is that diversity, and that also when you were talking about thinking outside the box, a little bit of thinking pattern is different from how the men would think. And also, when a woman is good in something, she's extraordinary good. Mm, I like that. Much better than the men. So, really? Yeah. Hmm. We need more bosses like you, who, yeah. who are on the lookout for female talent. Yeah, they do quite better than guys. Oh, actually. wow. He said they do better. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Shio. It's yeah. been so great talking with Thank you. Thank you very and, much. You know, I'm, I'm excited to know that you actually look out for female talent. I mean, in that sort of space, yeah. I mean, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank <laughs> you. When we return, yes, it will be game time between Shio and Omoni. That will be the engineers against Nollywood. Who's going to win, guys? See you when I return. Welcome back to the show, and yes, it's game time. I can't wait to see who's going to win. Is it going to be the engineers or Nollywood? I don't know. But of course, what I know is that I'm wearing my Blisco fabric. I love the burst of colors. And yes, it's Hollandis wax. And yes, when I wash it and wash it and wash it, nothing happens. It just keeps shining. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know. I'm, I'm getting compliments already. Hi, Omoni. Hi, Shiu. Are you ready Hello. to go against each other? Yes. <laughs> Today we're going to play the word game oh, yeah. and so someone is going to start with one word okay. and the other person is meant to say a related word okay. and then you need to say a related word yeah. and then you need to say a related word till someone is unable to give a related word. Wow, wow. Yes, wow. so your brain needs to be at a wow. hundred. Wow. one of those. Yes. Wow. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Yeah. Omoni. Uh, disappointed. Sadness. Unhappy. Unpleasant. Not nice. <laughs> <laughs> That's two words. She is our winner, guys. Yay! And he wins amazing fabric from Blisco. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, your money next time. Congratulations, Shil. Yeah, much. congrats. Thank you. Thank you so much, your money. Thank you, Shil, for Thank coming you. on the show. We've Thank learned you. so much from you guys, and don't stop changing the game in your respective spaces. Thank you. And thank you guys for watching. Till we see you again, don't stop changing the game in whatever you do. Be the best in whatever space you find yourself. Bye. <laughs>